Now, it's, it's incredible how a tiny little thing, in terms of rephrasing the question, makes things a lot simpler. So, for instance, this looks difficult. Some of you have got it, and it does fall out very simply if you know what you're doing. But others of you have looked at this and thought, how can I possibly integrate this? Before we use the trig identity, right? But it's like, what, what kind of, what, what do we even do with that, right? Um, some of you might think, mm, partial fractions, maybe, but that doesn't tend to be a very useful thing. How do you break it down? Well, let me rewrite what we're trying to prove. I'll just change it in a teensy little way, and then you tell me if you can see it. Okay. Let me move this over here. Now, what difference does this make? And the answer is, well, not a whole lot. All I've done is move this guy over here. But it helps you to remember that you actually know exactly what i n minus one is, because you know what i n is, right? You know what this is. So they show up, therefore you should know what this is. Okay? It looks like it turns out to be something simple. So let's give it a go. Okay? If I say i n minus one, okay, where does the n fit in? It's just in this power, isn't it? Okay? So I've got the integral of x to the n minus one on x plus 1. Problems? That's okay. Now if I add this to my original integral, this plus this, this plus this, watch, okay? i n plus i n minus 1. Well, they've defined i n for us, there it is. We've just determined what the next, well the previous one actually is, um, x to the n minus 1. Well, the great thing about this is you're integrating with respect to the same variable. You've even got the same denominator, right? So therefore, you can take these two integrals and make one out of them. This should be x to the n plus x to the n minus 1 on the numerator, right? All over x plus 1. Now look, you know where you're headed, right? From the beginning, you know the end. So therefore, you ought to be able to expect what you can do with this thing. Look. Can I not take out a factor? What would be a good choice of factor? If I take out x to the n minus 1, okay? x to the n minus 1, let's take it out the front. How many x's am I left with here? One x. How many things am I left with here? Just one. Okay? Cancel, cancel. What's the integral of x n to the minus 1? I'm pretty sure. It's x to the n on n. Really? Is that all we had to do? Well, almost. I suppose I should tidy up. I want this over here. I don't need to put the constant on because I still have integrals playing around, don't I? Okay. So, yeah, take that. <laughs> Minus that. And there's your recurrence relation, right? No integration by parts. No trig identities. No, nothing. You just rearrange things a little bit. Okay? But because it fits what a recurrence relation is, it's fair game. Okay?